The Smith's Detection X-ray system has the ability to automatically detect explosives, and it does this by placing a red box around any material that has a density and average effective atomic number within the range that the algorithms are looking for explosives. Now, it only works for organic-based explosives. It does not detect inorganic explosives. So remember, based on the colors that you see on the screen for materials discrimination imaging, the color orange is for organic materials. So organic-based explosives will turn orange. But there's a lot of things that we're going to be x-raying that are going to turn orange. That doesn't mean they're explosives. So what this is designed to do is try to point out or highlight any materials that are organic that we, we know are in a range where they potentially could be an explosive. It does not mean it is an explosive. It just means you need to look at that item and we'll teach you what you're specifically looking for to make sure it's not an actual explosive. Now the problem with this exact automatic explosive detection feature is it cannot detect inorganic explosives. And a lot of the explosives that the terrorists are using today are in fact inorganic explosives or organic explosives have had an inorganic material mixed to them which pushes them over into the color green. So anything that's inorganic will show up in green in color. So the reality is explosives can be orange, the organic based ones, but there's also a lot of inorganic explosives or homemade explosives that terrorists are using that will turn green. And we're gonna show you several examples of those. So to demonstrate how the actual um, uh, Smith's Detection X-Act automatic explosive detection feature works, we have several examples of explosives here that we're gonna run through the system. And we're gonna run them on the belt first and they're gonna run them in a bag. So you can see how they actually respond in the system. So the first one we're gonna show you is a plastic explosive, which is C4, everybody knows C4. But C4 is a US version of an RDX based explosive. It's organic explosive. There's also PE4, there's your Simtex explosives, your Simtex H, 1A, 10, there's a whole list of them. There's a lot of different plastic explosives out there, and they're typically going to be an RDX or PETN based explosive with a plasticizer. And again, these are all organic based explosives, they're going to turn orange in the x-ray system. So we'll run this through the x-ray. We have this one set uh, to detection class 11 on the Smith's Detection uh, Automatic Explosive Detection feature. Now the Smith's Detection system has 30 different detection classes for explosives and narcotics. So get with the manufacturer to verify what each one of these are, but we know through testing and experience that detection class is, uh, is a pretty good uh, explosive detection program um, that we're gonna use just for this test here. So we'll run this C4 plastic explosive through the system. It's set on detection class 11 and we'll see if the system is able to automatically detect it. And it does. You can see right here, plain as day, it has drawn a red box around that organic material, and it's simply telling you you need to look at this and look at it more closely to verify it's actually not an explosive device. And we'll show you a little bit later what you're specifically looking for inside of that red box. Now the next one we're gonna show you is another good example. This is a cast explosive used commercially for commercial mining and blasting. And these are typically a CAS TNT explosive. TNT is probably one of the most common commercial explosives in the world today. Almost 50 to 60% of all the explosives that are manufactured today are gonna to have a TNT type mixture in them. So this is a very common organic explosive and we'll run this through the system to see how it actually alarms. So again, the system has automatically detected this CAS booster explosive. It's drawn a red box around it. It's saying suspicious object detected, and just like the guns, we have set the system up that anytime it gets an automatic detection, it's going to lock that item that is alarmed inside the tunnel so you can clear it before you let that bag come out on the other side. Now, one of the other things we're going to show you is that this exact explosive detection feature has a lot of false alarms. So there's a lot of things that are not explosives that fall into the range where we do see organic explosives and they will alarm. We'll give you some examples of those. So this is why it's not a explosive uh, when you get an alarm for this. It's just telling you I, you need to look at this much more closely and make sure it's not an explosive device. So again, it stops it inside the tunnel, secures it so they cannot get access to it until you release it by pressing P1. Then you can actually allow the belt to move and run this, uh, the bag out the other side. Uh, if it's clear, okay? If it's not clear, you'd want to keep it on the inside. 
So the next explosive we're going to show you is called Poor Man's C4. Um, poor Man's C4 has been around a long time. So when I look at the fact that we're only looking for organic-based explosives, I know this thing's been out forever. So you got to ask yourself, why is this system only able to detect organic explosives and not inorganic-based explosives? Can't answer that. But the reality is, is it doesn't. So some explosives will turn orange in color because they're organic, and they can get a red box, automatic detection. Others will turn green and probably will not get a red box. So again, you cannot rely 100% on this automatic explosive detection feature to find all potential explosive threats. You have to do extra interpretation of the, other, the entire bag. So let's run this one through and see, we, see what we get. So potassium perchlorate is what they're using in this, and you can see it's turning green uh, in the x-ray image, and there's no red box. Terrorists have been using more and more of these throughout the world, so the green-colored inorganic explosives are becoming more and more common. And until such some time as companies like Smith's Detection improve their software algorithms to include inorganic explosives, uh, they're only going to be able to detect the organic-based explosives, all right? Make sure you understand that. So explosives can turn orange, they can also turn green. The organic explosives are what the system can detect. It cannot detect the inorganic-based explosives. So that means that we have to look for the IED components, the battery wire, the switch, the detonator, and the explosive to identify this in an x-ray image. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run a whole bunch of explosives through at one time, inorganic and organic, different types, to get you an idea of how they're all going to respond in this x-ray system. So we'll go ahead and start the belt. We have a whole plethora of explosives here that we're going to run through. Now the other thing with the Smith system is sometimes it doesn't like alarming to multiple explosives when you're doing demonstrations like that. But the reality is, is typically there's only going to be one explosive uh, inside the per person's bag. Um, but this one it, it did eh, okay, all right? So we pretty much got everything we were expecting it to alarm. So over here is an M112 block. This is C4 plastic explosive and it was able to automatically detect this. Down here we've got a Simtex H explosive, it automatically detected this. This is an emulsion explosive, which is a darker color orange because it's a little bit higher in its ZEF, or average effective atomic number, because they use an aluminized uh, material inside of this ammonium nitrate mixture. Uh, there's your cast booster, there's a stick of dynamite. Now we have multiple other explosives on here that are not alarming. Um, some of them are orange, some of them are green. Now we already know why the green ones are not uh, automatically detecting. The software is not designed to detect those. So down here we have an explosive called ANAL. It's ammonium nitrate and aluminized powder mixed together. And this is about an 80% ammonium nitrate and a 20% aluminized powder, which is going to push that ammonium nitrate, which you see up here. Ammonium nitrate is typically an organic based material as far as how it's seen in x-ray. It's pushing it into the green color. Okay. And this one over here in the far corner is actually potassium perchlorate, or I'm sorry, potassium chlorate. It actually turns green in x-ray. So depending on how it's mixed, it could be an organic-based explosive. If it's mixed with an inorganic material or a binder or something like aluminized powder, which is very common, it can push it over into the green color and no longer be detectable by the x-ray system. All right, so what we're going to do next is show you when you get a red box, what you're actually looking for inside that red box to try to determine if you have an explosive threat or not. So what we've done is we've placed a, an explosive charge inside of a backpack. And we're going to run it through. It's got all the clutter and everything else inside of it. And we're going to show you how to process a red box at the checkpoint if you get one. Okay? So we'll take this bag and we will run it through the x-ray. see what kind of response we get and then we'll go from there. So automatically I've gotten a red box alarm and a purple box alarm back here. It's telling me suspicious object detected, it's locked it inside the x-ray tunnel, okay? That's exactly what we wanted to do. So when I look at my purple box here, I'm seeing that's just a very dense material. That's actually a camera that attaches to the top of your computer. Uh, it's an external camera. Um, so again, I don't see any type of gun, knife, or bomb, uh, I, uh, hand grenade, or metal python bike trip there, so I can clear that. But when I look over here, I've got a red box. Now what I want you to do is look very closely at this red box, and this is what you're looking for 
if it's an organic based explosive it needs a detonator to set it off okay and that's what you see right here that little uh, 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 capsule thing you see right here is actually the detonator and we'll teach you this in the x-ray interpretation class what you're actually looking for when you get a red box automatic detection with the smith system you're looking for that detonator inside of the red box now up here you've got the actual timer and then you've got the power source up here but again we'll teach you all this stuff in the x-ray interpretation class but the exact automatic explosive detection feature for the smith detection system helps you in identifying potential organic based explosive threats remember it's not 100 percent accurate it won't detect all explosives and it won't detect inorganic explosives but again it is a good tool to help you find that explosive material which helps you find the detonator and the IED components and detect a potential IED threat.